In this video, I'm going to show you what my teeth look like before I had all my teeth pulled out. We're going to go over week one, and I'm going to answer some questions. You're going to see me at week one when I end my stitches. You're going to see it all. I, I have my curtains up finally. It's totally different than what I usually like, and there's still nothing on the wall. But the curtains are, the curtains are up. I'm changing my style. I'm trying to. All right. Let's get going. Hi everybody, welcome back. And if you're watching this in the future, this is, I already have my teeth. Now, I lost that tooth. I have a hole there. I lost that tooth probably a month before I was to have all my teeth pulled out. The tooth just broke. Half of it was still up in there. My dentist said, I can make you a flipper tooth for it, but it's going to be like $300 and you might only have it for a week or two by the time it gets made and everything else. And I'm like, okay, never mind. I'm just going to rock this hole. Well, that's what we're going to do. I'm going to rock the hole. So it also notice in here how bad my gums are receding. They, you could see all all up in there and look at the shape of my tooth because we're going to talk about that. I'm going to explain that when I come back. We're filming this the weekend before I'm getting my teeth pulled and all the things done. And so, yeah, I still have the hole in my mouth. All right. Did you see see how my teeth were shaped like, like this? That's that's a receding gum line and I did not realize how bad my gums were receded until I got my dentures put in and when I had my dentures put in I'm I'm looking at it on the way home I'm looking at myself in the mirror and I'm like Rob there's something wrong these teeth are like so little and they're not I, I don't know what's happening because I used to have really long teeth and now these are little and and I'm like oh my gums were receded. That's why I have long teeth. This is normal. This is like a normal smile without the receding gums. In fact, 10, probably 10, 15 years before that, I had the, the gum graft surgery on my lower that you can actually still see my ridges and you'll probably see it in later on. But they went in and took skin off the roof of my mouth and sewed it all along here, hoping to help prevent the gum receding so fast. And if I could change it again, if I if I knew then what I know now, I would have just said, you know what, pull them all. Pull them all. Let's just get dentures. It would have saved me a lot of money and it would have saved me a lot of pain. Today's teeth day. We're here. I'm here too. Today's the day. Did I sleep last night? No. No, I didn't. No. I, I was up until 5 a.m. and then I finally fell asleep. And then I woke up at 7. Here we are. And here we are. So I'm going to go in there right now and get my teeth pulled. This is kind of a bittersweet kind of thing. I'm happy to do this, but nervous. I was so nervous going into this because it was like the unexpected. It's like, I don't know what I'm going to look like. I don't know what I'm going to feel like when this is over. I had no idea. But I'll tell you, I had no expectation either. So when you go into this, go into this with no expectation. Don't go into this thinking, oh my gosh, I'm going to have this beautiful smile and I'm going to be able to eat for like all the things right now. No, you're not. So go into this with no expectation. In fact, my dentist told me, you're going to hate your lower denture. You're going to absolutely hate it. It's going to drive you nuts. And... You know, there's ways we can fix that with implants and a snap-in, but just know you're going to hate that lower denture. I did go in with that expectation that I would hate my lower denture. That That's all. And when I went in with it like that, thinking I'm going to freaking hate this thing, it wasn't so bad when I came out. Hi, everybody. Welcome back. Yeah, welcome back. I have my teeth. Look. Look. Now, you hear me lisping and talking, and it's like it took a while to learn how to talk. Now, at this point, my dentures are loose. They're, they're kind of loose, and it was hard for me to keep them in. I know some people go into this expecting that these dentures are going to fit great right off the bat. Well, mine were loose, and I know a lot of yours are loose. So if they're loose at this point, don't worry about it. Don't worry about the fit right now. Just worry about getting through the healing because after you're healed, you can worry about the fit. But but right now is not the time to worry about that. Very crooked smile right now too. It's been 
less than 24 hours since I had them all pulled and these put in. So, yeah, we're, that's what we're working with right now. I um, am on my way to the dentist. He's going to do something on it. The gag is real. Okay, the gag is real. Those of you that have dentures know the gag is real. If you don't have your dentures yet, just know that you're going to gag right now. It, it's going to be weird and it's you're going to talk weird. Your teeth are going to be loose at this stage. You're gagging, but no, the gag is going to end. The gag eventually is going to go away because your dentures are going to be able to get tightened up and all that. And it's going to help the gag. Um, what helped me when I gagged is like peppermint candy or lifesavers, something I could like suck on like a sucker or anything like that. That'll help the gag. So if you, you're in like a <laughs> stick a sucker in your mouth, stick something in your mouth because that'll get your mind off of it and it'll get your tongue working different and it, it, it'll help a lot. Let me warn all of you that there might be some gagging, <laughs> gagging in this video. I'm still learning to talk with them. And, well, they're not, they have to be aligned. So, and they're coming out, you know, they move really easily. So, yeah. Last night, I did okay. I slept all day yesterday. All night last night. I'm talking slower now, so I don't gag and gross any of you out. But it's a thing. It happens with this. I Yesterday, I ate cottage cheese. Apple frost. Okay, so when you go into this, just know that you're gonna have to have soft foods, whether it, it, whatever it is. And you know what? <laughs> Make those cold soft foods because that'll help. Like put them in the refrigerator, like my pudding and my applesauce, cottage cheese, it was all in the refrigerator. So when I ate it, it kind of like cooled down my dentures and then um, it helped with the swelling. And what I actually learned was, you know, the ICs from the Dairy, from the Dairy Queen or from gas stations, the icy things, or like coffee that's slushy. If you get one of those and sip on it slowly and hold it in your mouth, those little ice chips, that freezes your denture and that will help with the swelling. And I didn't learn that until after my whole swelling, it, 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 it I learned it. I wish I knew it earlier. So that will help you. Hi everybody, welcome back. Today is day two of my dentures and I thought I would do an update. I'm going to do updates along the way because I know that I was interested in other people's denture stories just because I didn't, I didn't know, I didn't know the process. I didn't. So day two for me, you see here, wasn't, wasn't bad at all. I, I'm tripping on a rug. I, I actually wanted to get ready because I had teeth and it's like, I want to put some makeup on and kind of look decent. So day two wasn't bad and, and just eat the cold, cold stuff. Keep eating what you're eating and know that your dentures might be loose and that's okay. Hi everybody. Welcome back. We're on day four. So this is going to be my day three and day four update. Day three is like the day from hell. I'm going to be honest with you. I had so much pain on day three. It was unbearable it was truly unbearable the doctor has me on okay now you can see because uh, i went to the dentist and i had an adjustment you don't see my top teeth as much now you see the bottom teeth more and it just looks like i have too much going on right here and you can you can see that and they're still loose my dentures are still loose but my day three <sighs> was awful the dentist said, just keep wearing your dentures. Don't take them out. And I didn't. I listened. To, I listened to what he said. And I'm thinking I'm glad I did. Sometimes I wish I would have taken them out. I don't know. Do whatever you can stand and do what your dentist says. But my gums swelled to the max. They filled out my dentures. They were on my teeth. They were freaking throbbing. I laid in bed and cried. I had Percocet and I take Neurotin already. And none of that touched my denture pain. Zero. It was like, it, it was just awful. Uh, that's all I can say. It, it was just awful. So plan on having an awful day. But know that you're going to get through it. I got through it. So I laid in bed crying, thinking, I can't wait for tomorrow. 
because hopefully it's not going to be this way. And, and it, see, it wasn't. Percocet and the uh, ibuprofen, 800 milligram, I think. The Percocet didn't touch it, nothing. The pain was so bad. And I think I slept through the entire night, didn't take anything through the, the night. And I woke up and it was just like, <laughs> it was it was bad. It was bad. Everything was swollen. I couldn't even get my teeth out. It hurt so bad. It, it hurt that bad. You could even see in here, my bite is a little off. And in the very first stages, don't worry about that. This is the stage that you're going to get through. All you're worried about is your healing. Your dentures are there to help you get, you know, to have teeth, to have a, a, a look. Amita dentures were made so people would leave the office and have a smile. That's why they were made. So no, your immediate dentures right now aren't going to fit you. And we're not going to worry about that until, until like two weeks down the road. So we're just going to get through these first two weeks and just let's, let's move on. So eventually I was able to get my teeth out and I cleaned them and, and just kind of rinsed my mouth with, um, salt water and just laid in bed all day in pain with ice and just trying to make everything better. My dentist told me to leave my teeth in. All right, just get through it. That's all I can tell you. Get through it. All right, let's go on to looking at my extractions. Day six with dentures and they fell out when I was talking. Oh my gosh. Funny story. Oh, funny story. But anyway, I'll get there in a on day six, day three was awful. It, it was awful. It was like the day from hell. I'm not kidding. I'm not kidding. If that's what hell's like, I don't want to go there. Day four was better. Day five, okay. Day six, I'm really sore today. It's tolerable, but it's okay. I have a dentist appointment today. He's going to make something feel better, I hope. I do hope. This little, the little thing up here that holds your lip to your gums, I think I tore that on the dentures. Okay, I had a sore. I had a really, really bad sore, and it was down here. But up here, this is called your frenulum, that little hangy thing. You need the frenulum. Don't don't just tell your dentist to whack it off. I've heard other denture wear channels, actually one, just say, you don't need that thing. Just have them cut it off, and you, and that you don't need it. Well, dentists, when you get your permanent dentures, and if you want to move on in the denture world, they use that frenulum for your, your bite thingy there, you know, and if, if you don't have it, that's okay, but they, they use that as a guide. So, um, let's go on. In fact, I think I know I did because I felt it and it freaking hurts. They're very high up here. They're very high and it feels like they're going to come out my nose. That, that's what it feels like. Down here, they're low. There's a few low spots and up here, hopefully he can like file them down a little bit and make them feel better. They do it slowly when they file your dentures down because if you file down too much, you're basically screwed. You ruined your dentures. You know, that's... Don't, don't, look at my lip. See my upper lip, how, how it is? This is, remember, we're getting through this, but I learned that Rob and I were sitting on the couch one day and he's like, what's wrong with your teeth? And I'm like, what do you mean what's wrong with my teeth? And he goes, well, I said, do you mean I look like a dead person laying in a casket? And he goes, yes, that is it. I had like the Marge Simpson look. I had too much up here and I ended up taking my nail file. That, I mean, I got off the couch and went and got my nail file and I just filed some of this off the front down, just a little bit, tried them on a little bit more, tried them on and it, and it fixed that problem. So I didn't look like Marge Simpson anymore. What I've been told, maybe not that way, but that's what I've been told. So anyway, hopefully, and, and they're moving. I can, I can, I don't know if you can see them. They're, they're moving a little bit. And you can hear them when I talk. They're just getting looser because my gums are un unswelling. The swelling is going down. They're loose. And this is day six and my dentures are loose. We're gonna, we're gonna take care of that. And you see, you can see, you can see food in my teeth. Now bear with me because my S's, S, the S's are hard to say. And I don't know, I don't know, these teeth, 
I have things I would change on, on my new set. There's things that I'm going to change. Okay, talking, talking is hard. It, it's just hard. So you're going to get used to that, I promise. Now I still have stitches, stitches, stitch, it's hard to say S's, it's that, that's hard. Hopefully that, uh, da, 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 <laughs> I keep trying, <gasps> it's, it's a thing, this is a process. I, I don't like the clicking noise, we have to do something about the clicking noise. My grandmother's teeth used to click and I, I, that makes me feel old, so I don't, I don't want the clicking noise. So anyway, okay, I have stitches. Yesterday I was working in the garden and my teeth started bleeding again. Came in the house, laid down. It, uh, it, it, they're just sore. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take these out so you can see. All right, it's really sore, so it's like at this stage, it's like let's just get them out carefully because it really freaking hurts. All right, uh, gently. I'm not kidding. <laughs> okay, you see how I'm taking my teeth out? Just like this. I'm not pulling down, taking her out. These teeth are so loose at this stage. I could do that. Right now, I have to like yank down on them because they're so tight. But they're so loose. It's like I could pull them out. Mm. Let me go rinse these off. We'll be right back. There's like blood in there. You don't want to see that. Okay. Here's, here they are. They're out. Mm. And my mouth really hurts. <sighs> oh, boy, does it hurt. Okay, you ready? If you don't want to see this, just close your eyes. I don't know how there. There's still stitches in there. But it's so sore. It is very, very sore. Very, very. And this thing up here. I'm looking at myself, sorry. This thing up here, that, that hangy thing, the dentures go way up there. And it's like, they're gonna go up my nose and out my brain is what it feels like. Oh, there you go, see? I don't know. Okay, that really hurts. Okay, this little thing right here, they, they'll file your dentures down, you know? And if you have your, your dentures for the first time and that little thing, the frenulum up there is hurting, get your nail file. And just kind of make a bigger slot in the centers. Make a bigger slot. And that, that'll get it off that frenulum. So, um, the dentist ended up taking some off of the top that was going up into my, my brain. But there's adjustments you can do at home. And it's like, just take a nail file. And just weasel that out a little bit. If it's hurting. And I'll tell you, um, a couple months ago, I tore my frenulum again. But I did it taking my adhesive out of my, off my gums. I kind of have, a, I use a microfiber cloth to take it off. And I winged it up too high and it tore that frenulum. And it's like, oh, here we go, that hurt. So that happened. So, so just be careful of your frenulum. But keep it, you need it. Okay, so I'm going to put these back in. I've been cleaning these like four or five times a day. Because it just feels better. All right, it's her, like her. Mm hmm mm hmm <laughs> Gently, because this hurts. This really, really, really hurts. Then I kind of suck on my thumb a little bit. I push up here and it'll suck, and it kind of sucks them in, but it hurt, they, they hurt. All right, bottoms, here we go. Uh huh, it hurt, it hurts. Just gently. Mm -hmm. See how far down they go? That's like, is that necessary? But really hurts is it in the middle. I'll see if I can show you that. Or on the inside. Okay. Get out. Oh, look it. There's something there. Why don't you guys tell me there's something in my tooth? I'll be right back. Okay. Like I said, you can't you can't feel anything in, in your dentures. So there yeah, there's that. But the bottoms, it has to go down that far. They have to go. Look how they're way, way down there. And they're down in the inside too, but they're not down so far that they're jamming in my tongue. But 
they have to go down that far because your lower denture does not have suction. Your top denture, denture does because of the upper plate. Your bottom denture doesn't have suction and you need them to cover as much gum space as you possibly can. I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know why I would think you could tell me. All right, that thing is out. Here's the thing. When there's like food, I'm finding when there's like food on the tooth, it's hard to tell because sometimes it's like when you have something in your teeth, you could feel it when you actually have teeth. When you have these, you can't, like I had that thing there. You can't, you can't feel it. So you gotta like evidently check yourself before you film a video. Look at your teeth. See if there's crap in your teeth. Okay, you ready? Okay, again, if you don't wanna see this. <laughs> Look away, here we go. All right. And it, it, it hurts this. Now I'm gonna try to, I'll see if I can, all right, show you down here what I'm talking about. Right here, right here. There's like a ledge there now that I can feel with my tongue. All right, right here. Okay. If you get a ledge or something like I'm talking about, it'll go away. It'll smooth itself out and it'll be okay. And I ended up with a white sore down in there. Oh boy, did that hurt. That really hurt. Now you can also see my gum grafts. You could see on the front here, down here, how it's kind of bumpy and wavy. That's my gum graft surgery. So in my dentures, if you have gum graft surgery, I'm not having a problem with my dentures. That's one thing I did ask my dentist. How are we gonna fit the, he just don't worry, it'll work. It worked. I don't, I don't think you can see it. If you have a white spot, because some people don't know what a sore it looks like. They, they just know if there's a white spot. If you have a white spot in your mouth, that is a sore. That means you need to call your dentist and go in for an adjustment because your dentures are rubbing on that spot. My dentures were too low on the inside and they were rubbing like underneath my tongue. And he filed that off and the minute he filed it off and I put my dentures in, there was such relief. So that's what a denture sore is. It's, it's a white spot or it could be a bloody spot, but a white spot. Cause I'm like, what is happening? I'm thinking, do I have cancer now? Well, what's happening? What is this thing? It was a sore. But the, oh, and then back here, I don't have stitches cause I don't, I didn't need stitches. I didn't have teeth back here. And I just pull. <laughs> Oh, stay down. Look at I made something bleed. Okay, we'll put the teeth. See what I mean? Yesterday it started bleeding and it hurt like, like, like really bad. So I'm gonna just put these back in bleeding, and that's what you do. Okay. Uh, hopefully. Uh huh. This really hurts. Just gently. Now look, there's nothing in my teeth now. The moral of the story here is it's going to hurt bad. It's going to hurt. And I have fibromyalgia and I experience pain worse than the average person that doesn't have fibromyalgia. Like um, even Rob coming up behind me and touching me when I don't know, that hurts. That hurts me. Things that close and stuff like that. So imagine this. It really, really hurts. So your dentures aren't going to fit you. Don't, don't plan on them fitting you for a while. Give it three, four weeks before you actually worry about the fit. Right now, you're going to worry about your gums healing because they're going to heal. They're going to shrink. They're going to swell. They're going to move. Your teeth are going to go out of line. You're going to get ridges. All, all these things are going to happen to you and that's okay. It's, that's what's supposed to happen. So the first Eat, eat the soft food, your teeth are going to be loose, they're going to be moving around. When your stitches spots are healed, you can use adhesive. And my dentist had me put it like a line, a very, very small line on my top denture down the middle and to hold it in place. But don't get it on your sore spots because that will freaking hurt. And that helped so much because then my denture was like in. In the bottom denture, it floated around down there until everything was healed until then I could start using adhesive. So your dentures are going to be big. All right. I will see you in my next video. I hope this, I hope this helps somebody and I'll see you next time. Bye.